Welcome along everybody to Easter 2021 and here we are back in the studio. Back virtual. Yes, just as we were this time last year. Who would have thought it? We yeah. weren't thinking of no. a day ago. Oh. We were all set down at the MPH yeah. for a wonderful big celebration of Peter 12 of the mm. Easter yeah. event, which is God's rescue of us. And that's what today in our little message, mm. God's rescue, the, the ultimate rescue of all of humankind. Yeah. Yeah, is what we're up to, and Easter. It's a real two-part thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, the Friday is the hard part. Um, it is the time when Jesus was was brought through the streets, carrying his cross, taken up, and and um, killed. Yeah, placed on that cross. That's right. And 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 as us as humanity doing that, and and at that time it was put to death. It wasn't a sacrifice. You know, yeah. and I think that comes to us later. He. But he knew that Jesus Christ knew that in, in all the journey coming into town, in in the Last Supper and everything else, he knew what he was doing um, and was committed and where it was going to head to. Where it was going to head to. So it's a hard day, and, and it's it's shown in, in the lyrics of this song. Yeah, because first up, we mm -hmm. we would have had a couple of young ladies dancing to yeah. this yeah. song, yeah. performed by our Year Twelves. But for today. We have this beautiful song called "Lead Me to the Cross," mm -hmm. which is you know it, it references lyrics like um you know rid me of myself and and that's a difficult thing to get ahead around too is that you know we we did this to jesus as, as humanity um but also that we're born with that sin which we'll reference later when we get we're looking out of this room rescue of us and we go somewhere else into yeah. another room but um and but then also then it, it it talks about um how your love is poured out god's love is poured into us mm -hmm. um, and we're saved through that love and, and that is through the sacrifice on this very hard friday Part A of part, the Easter part, story of God's rescue. Mm. So let's have a listen to the song, and as Mr. T's referenced, have a listen out to the lyrics yep. of, of all that's there, and we'll come back to you in about two and a half minutes.
So, but as you described, Mr. Tangai, uh, it is a, a hard song to listen to. It's not an upbeat song by any means, but it's conveying to us the centrality of the cross. It's at the, cent it's at the heart of yeah. God's rescue. That rescue yeah. And we would have watched little year fours mm. enact the next part of it, the Sunday, but of course we can't have that. But what, yeah. what have we got instead? So in the end, uh, in the communication that this is sent home in, that this file is sent home in, is also another link to the URL to a site that we use regularly. Um, it's a great uh, retelling of, of of the whole journey, actually. So of, of Friday and Sunday, of why the rescue was necessary as well. Mm. Yeah, right, back. Um, right, right through to to what happened after Sunday as, as well. So. If you want to pause this, um, pop back out and use that link. It's an opportunity to be so able to see that. God's story, yeah, Jesus retail. rescue, mm. which is what we're on about Absolutely. over Easter. And then we're going to uh, jump into a different room and try and give you just another little creative uh, way of, of sharing. Of depicting mm. Jesus rescue of us from ourselves, the sin mm -hmm. that's around us, how we can be rescued. So see, see you soon. soon. Welcome along to the Science Lab. Mr. T, thanks for joining us here. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Um, another way of looking at, um, I guess, how Jesus can make a difference in us. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of different analogies out there, and you found this one. Yeah, well, as I was uh, mapping out this idea of Jesus' rescue of us, God's rescue of us at Easter, mm. you know, the ultimate rescue event, it came to me of how Jesus just takes the sin that's within us and deals with it. Yeah. I'm thinking, how can we show that? And I had recollection from way back of seeing some colour changes in a science lab. And so I've gone along to see Miss Twine, our yep. wonderful science yep. lady, and she has worked out for us that here's us, you. Now, we're, we're actually not pure like that no, because no. we've got the magic S for sin bottle. We've got this sin in us. Yep. And it doesn't take much sin to make us like... We'll put a little bit more in there. You can see that. Yeah. It just taints us. And it's a difficult thing to, to deal with. We don't like hearing that we're sinners. And I know some people who struggle, you know, with, I guess, the journey of church and, and everything and being told the repeatedly. Christian worldview. Yeah, repeatedly that we're sinners. But, you know, in the end, um, we have these these it's decisions. It's a well, tendency to tendency think things. about ourselves. Yep. We all do it. I recognise it in myself when, the, when I'm at my worst. It's when I'm thinking about myself yeah, yeah. and it's just there. When we're able to think about others, which God leads mm -hmm. us to do that, that's awesome. Yeah. But we tend to think about ourselves. So that so, needs to get dealt with. We need to get rescued from that. We do, we do. And and hence this, this message we're sharing now. Yeah, is. because at Easter, mm -hmm. with Jesus giving up his life on the cross on Good Friday, coming back alive again on Easter Sunday, he performs this rescue um, of our of our hearts and he pours himself out for us pours himself into us and you have that wonderful cleansing of our hearts and minds and sin is dealt with and we're made new and what an awesome rescue that is it's the greatest rescue there ever was the whole story of god's story is about yeah. god rescuing his people yeah it culminates 2,000 years ago with Christ on the cross. I, a little analogy I'm just going to throw in there. I loved how we are now complete. This has filled up our yeah. our cells, our jar. Um, so having God in our lives um, through Jesus dying on the cross, making us whole with him. Um, you know, it's filled up our bucket, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> so thank mm. goodness God sent Christ down to rescue us. And we celebrate that, and we're yeah. going to do that in a little while too with the song "My Redeemer Lives." Yep. Well, gee, uh, I know you've got students in your house. You call them children. Uh, <laughs> when we have them here, there's some woot wooting and dancing. So I challenge them if you're watching this as a family or at some point, um, let's see what actions they got going and how much they can sing. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.
Redeemer lives, um, I'll never grow tired of mm. singing that song. I have such fond memories of it over so many different situations. Yep. And we will sing it again this Sunday, all things being equal, but we yeah, didn't wind up right. in the worship centre for normal St Andrew's congregation worship that's uh, scheduled as our final song. Mm -hmm. I hope you are able to join in. Yep, yeah. I, 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 the, the students here have accepted it. I remember I got a little clip from Miss Bible's Year 8 of, of in the room on a Friday sharing the, the song and singing out loud and just celebrating. Awesome. So, yeah. uh, and, and as awesome as the message in, in that song. Yeah, because mm. there it starts. I know he rescued my soul yeah. and that's what he's done. Uh, our loving God mm. through Christ's action over the Easter weekend has rescued all of humanity, chucked us a life ring. We just have to receive it, yeah. that love and care, and then go and share it with others. That's, mm. that's what life's Absolutely. about. Is in, yeah, for us. So it's it's a good feeling, totally different to the Friday feeling. It's it's um, as someone who is on the Christian journey and and to hear that and to see that and to feel that is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you. We, uh, awesome that we can at least share this message. Um, this day and age, we can get message out other way. So hopefully you've um, taken something from this, enjoyed it, if nothing else. Um, we thank you for for sharing the journey with us. We'll see you back in term two when hopefully school's back to normal again and we continue on our great adventure of God's big story mm -hmm. and his love for us. Yeah. See you later.